Um, recently, I, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this in the news, some researchers at CERN have said they, they've measured something, some particles they've measured moving faster than the speed of light. Yeah, faster than light neutrinos. Do you think that's going to pan out at all? Or? Okay, the question is, just last week, it was announced at CERN Switzerland, where they have the world's largest particle accelerator, that maybe Einstein was wrong. They found particles called neutrinos that broke the light barrier, that went faster than the speed of light. Well, as you can imagine, we physicists had a heart attack after that <laughs> was made. Most of us broke out in a cold sweat. Because it means that if this result holds up, every single goddamn physics book in the world has to be rewritten. <laughs> Everything has to be thrown out the window. Lasers, transistors, the GPS system, the internet, most of what we call modern technology has to be recalibrated, readjusted to account for this new fact. Now, personally, I think that this result is wrong. Okay, I'll tell you why. In 1987, we also had a beam of neutrinos that hit the Earth. There was a supernova that blew up in the Magellanic clouds roughly, what, 20, 50,000 light years from here, a good healthy distance, about 50,000 light years from Earth. The light and the neutrinos hit the Earth at the same time. As soon as we saw the supernova, we registered neutrino detectors buzzing like crazy meaning that both hit the Earth at the same time, over a distance of thousands of light years. Now, this result was between Switzerland and Italy, a distance of 400 miles. And the neutrino beam outraced the light beam by 60 feet. I find that hard to believe that in 1987, we can measure the simultaneity <laughs> of neutrinos and light beam over thousands of light years. And then between Switzerland and Italy, they find a discrepancy. What's the problem? Well, first of all, how do you measure the distance between Switzerland and Italy? You have to use a GPS system. But the GPS system is relativistic. You have to use Einstein's theory to use a GPS system. So they're using Einstein's theory to dispute Einstein's theory. There's got to be something circular there, okay? So I can't prove it. Science, of course, has no sacred cows. You are only as good as your last experiment. One experiment can disprove Einstein. Now, during the 1930s, the Nazi party denounced relativity, and the Nazi party even issued a book called 100 Authorities Denounce Relativity. People interviewed Einstein. What do you think about this? 100 famous German intellectuals denounced Einstein, and he was quoted. And Einstein said, if you want to destroy relativity, you don't need a hundred famous people. You only need one experiment. This could be that experiment, but I don't think so, okay? You have to have a lot of nerve to go up against Einstein. Okay, next question. 